This week we're in Rotherhithe, uh, as you can see uh, there's a huge amount of uh, vessel timbers here. So what we'll be doing as ever is cleaning and drawing and recording them and hopefully working out the sort of uh, ship they came from. It looks like they've been arranged in a, some sort of slipway form, so it looks very much like we're sitting below a ship builders who would have been quite close to a ship breaking yard so you can get the, the timbers to form a slipway. But we know that rather high in the sort of 18th and early 19th centuries was uh, full of shipbreakers and shipbuilders, chandleries and mass makers and rope makers. Yeah, we've just uh, set off from Tower Bridge. We're on a six week expedition from London to Marrakesh by kayak and by bike. And we stopped off here. We thought it was uh, a clean up actually, but it's an archeological do. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I couldn't believe the timber in there. You've just got to go and have a look at that. It is brilliant, really impressive. Thank you. Uh, this extremely large timber here is almost certainly the bow of a ship. It's what called the stem post, which if it was put upright, would give you some idea of the size of the vessel. It's got a rebate in it, and into that rebate, the planks would slot, and you can see that rebate very clearly. It's the last week of our uh, seven week summer season and we've been working on sites the whole way across Greater London. We've had an amazing summer. Uh, we've had hundreds of people coming down to the foreshore during the, the weeks we've been out on site, either coming to work uh, as part of their sort of professional development, coming to work as part of the, the volunteering project, or coming down on one of our events of guided walks um, and other activities on the foreshore. We started in May in Charlton, so uh, going back to revisit the site of the Castle Shipbreakers Yard. We then moved in June to uh, the Isle of Dogs to the Burrells Wharf site where we investigated the uh, launch site of the Great Eastern um, and ran a very successful event with the, uh, the Brunel Museum and the Dockland Settlement. We then moved to the Tower of London. Uh, which is the subject of episode 7, which I hope you've all seen. Um, it's a fantastic week working with the mudlarkers, doing a fine survey and looking at the historic riverside walls and a new structure on the foreshore, of a 17th century stair probably. Um, then we moved to Greenwich, again a, a very dynamic site, eroding very quickly. We looked at the remains of the Tudor jetty there, worked with Discover Greenwich on an open day event for families and for adults, and discovered a completely uh, previously unrecorded and um, probable medieval jetty which is extremely exciting. Then we went west to Kew and to Strand on the Green looking at access to the waterfront there, the remains of a possible fish trap uh, and the crossing point and finally here we are in Rotherhithe where we've got lots of evidence again uh, sort of harking back to our first site this summer of ship breaking um, and waterfront activity associated with the maritime history of London. I guess I've now seen most of the typical sorts of sites that we have along the foreshore, so I hope that uh, as the volunteers take over from the professionals, we'll be able to continue to do quite a reasonable job. I'm a professional archaeologist and I work for a company called AOC Archaeology over at uh, Twickenham. And you might think it's strange for a professional who wants to uh, come down here on his weekend and uh, uh, dig up bits of uh, ship's timber, but uh, I love it. It's a great opportunity for me to uh, just to not only enjoy myself, meet different types of people, but uh, it's uh, also an opportunity for um, training, really. So it's a great laugh and uh, definitely carry on doing more. 
we're starting to look ahead to our final year of the project and what we're going to be doing. So we're thinking about our uh, monitoring programme, how we institute this idea of revisiting your site, looking at the archaeology and seeing what has changed. We'll probably be looking at one or two more sites in slightly more detail, uh, hopefully up at Brentford where we have a, a boat graveyard and also over in Wapping, uh, just opposite where we are now.